I'm Michael Ponberth, um, 63 years of age, uh, still working um, full time as a company sales director of a textile company. I'm also very active sportingly, swimming, golf. I like to play um, weekends, Saturday and a Sunday. I've always played sport all my life. It's highly important to me and it's all part of my quality of life. I have had various orthopedic problems, back, shoulder, um, hips, and the latest um, being my knee. Um, but I've been very fortunate in finding the right surgeon uh, to take care of each of the um, problems. I, I had been managing uh, a left knee problem for many years. First um, problems occurred when I was playing rugby. Um, oh, 30, 35 years ago. But um, in the five years prior to me having the Birmingham knee replacement, I was managing it by means of a splint. Um, I wasn't in tremendous pain, but I was in a lot of, I was in, I would call it discomfort and feeling incredibly tired. Um, you know, I'd get to about the 14th, which um, uh, is the hilly at the 14, 15, 16th is the hilliest part of our course and I, I'd be feeling um, pretty worn out. And the final straw came um, when a friend I was playing with in a competition uh, described, uh, said to me, you're walking like an ostrich, Mike. Um, I wasn't, you know, I hadn't realised quite um, uh, how badly I was actually my, my posture and my walking because my knee was permanently bent. Um, and I, I'd, I'd decided by this time I'd got to get this sorted. Now, I had been over to see Mr. McMinn um, uh, several years before, uh, and, and in fact, five years uh, before I actually had the operation. And um, he, he'd informed me that he was working on um, a new knee, which would, um, in his words, be the best. Uh, and the key thing uh, that he mentioned to me was, apart from the, the hinge factor, they would be rotational. Uh, there'd be a whole rotational quality about the knee, uh, and it would be the nearest knee that had yet been produced that replicated a normal knee. And having had both hips done, I have absolute confidence in this guy. I had the first one done 2001, and come the second week in January, I went to Germany to a trade exhibition and literally to the day, 12 weeks after um, the surgery, um, I was playing golf, um, full bore. Um, you know, Saturday, Sunday, 18 holes. So I was absolutely delighted. And so 12 months later, I, I, I booked in uh, for my second hip. And again, that went extremely well. And um, again, I was playing golf um, three months uh, after that operation. So. Having great faith in this guy, we, we decided to get on with it and I was booked in to have the operation. Now I was very conscious that McMinn said to me, Mike, this is a 50-50 job. He would get it in spot on. The knee would be solid. You really have to work extremely hard afterwards um, to, to get it um, back into shape. Um, obviously one of the questions I asked and in fact, they put it in writing was when I'd be able to play golf again. And, and I also needed to know generally what my mobility would, like, would be like. Um, as I often travel a thousand miles a week, I'm pulling heavy sample cases out of the car and I need to be very um, active. So we, we, we went ahead. Um, I had the operation. Um, I was in the Birmingham BMI for six days where I was put on the passive motion machine and um, uh, that they got me, they wouldn't let me out until I was up to 90 degrees um, flexion. So um, I came out uh, and what I'd already organized uh, before I went in, um, uh, I'd organized a physio that had, uh, I'd always used throughout my sporting rugby career uh, with injuries and one of whom I have absolute great faith. The first week uh, I went to see him three times 
and then we, we had a whole program of two or three times a week for a following um, eight weeks uh, and he would really put me through it. I did ask the uh, guy, a guy called Norman Collins, I said, Norman, what are you trying to get me fit for? He said, Vets rugby. I said, well, I'd be very happy if I'm fit to play golf. Anyway, uh, to, to my surprise, uh, we were going up to Scotland on holiday, end of August, and so this was only sort of um, five weeks, uh, six weeks after the operation. Uh, he said, well, Mike, I think you will be fine if you take your golf clubs, um, half a set, half a swing, with the rotational quality of the knee and, and the way you've worked at it, I'm comfortable for you um, to give it a shot. I did see Mr. McMinn a week later uh, for him to sign me off, and um, he did shake his head when I asked him about golf, but he said, well, um, as I said to you, um, when I put the knee in, the knee is absolutely solid, uh, and therefore, if you're not in any pain and you're comfortable with it, um, go for it. Um, so yes, um, I think it must have been, um, it, well, it was, it was um, eight weeks almost to the day uh, when I played nine holes of golf, small nine hole course up in uh, Carradale in, in, um, near the Mull of Kintyre. And um, I was very apprehensive on the first tee, but um, um, I did take a mulligan on that. Uh, and then we were away, and um, once I got my confidence, it was absolutely fantastic. And I went and played nine holes the following day. A couple of weeks later, when I was back at my home course, um, I played at 18 holes. Um, and, and a couple of weeks later, I was back playing on a Saturday and a Sunday. So that was 12 weeks after the operation. I just cannot express strongly enough how I'm so delighted with the surgery um, and the, the rehabilitation, which is absolutely vital. And one other factor that I, I would mention to anybody um, that is thinking about having um, this uh, knee replacement, I think it's absolutely essential that um, you get yourself invest in a static bike and, and have it fairly, you know, in your own bedroom or in a bedroom next door so that it encourages you to get on it. And, and um, that has been absolutely great. And, he, and now I try and discipline myself to do five or ten minutes. That's all it takes, twice a day. Um, and it's like someone putting a little drop of oil into your knee. Um, you just start. If, if I've been sat in the car for eight hours driving or in a static position, for a long period of time, yes, the knee is very stiff, but I get on the bike and within 30 seconds, 40 seconds, um, the movement's back. Um, two or three minutes later, you're just pedaling again, flat out. Um, ab absolutely vital. Um, and, and overriding all this, um, it is absolutely essential that you have a very positive um, mental attitude to um, uh, working at it. Um, so um, I am one very satisfied customer.